The Indian leader, Mahatma Gandhi, was known to have said, if it weren't for Christians, I would be a Christian. But then that followed on from when he went to a church in Calcutta and was turned away because he was neither the right social class nor the right social colour. And that's tragic for all concerned. As chaplain, I'm working full time to patch up the family relationship between human and other creatures, and the more so because we've never more urgently needed to be friends. And this is nothing to do with winning or losing. It's not a, a war game. Winners and losers have nowhere else to go. We share one common home. And this is the relationship between people and what many faiths and millions of Christians are content to call Mother Earth. And this is the relationship between people and what many faiths and millions of Christians are content to call Mother Earth. And on a day when thousands of tonnes of plastic are going to be bought and thrown away on the back of the idea of mothering, I can't let that pass. From whom, after all, came the flowers for Mothering Sunday? Should we and do we honour the earth as our mother? Pope Francis, the leader of about half the world's Christians, makes a very strong case for that. But for about the past hundred years, most of our hymn books and the ways we've put the Bible into English and much of the training of church leaders has treated fellow creatures a bit like that church in Calcutta treated Gandhi. Why should we take notice of you? You're the wrong species. Your voice doesn't need to be heard. But the Bible isn't like that. And God isn't like that. And Jesus isn't like that. You can't keep nature and the environment out. The rest of life is already there, already inside, already included as we are in love and care from God. And we are provided as part of that care. That's what we're here for. We are God's gift to manage and care for the earth, not the other way around. The earth in the Bible, is much more of a who than an it. And I'm often asked for a something like a Christian response to the environment, and this is it. Stop thinking of the earth or the world or the environment or creation, whatever word you think you ought to use, stop thinking as it. And start thinking as who. Jesus not only told us to look and learn from the birds and the trees, he spoke, and sometimes very firmly, to the sea and the trees. Because almost everything you will ever heard are of about what makes humans superior, emotions, intelligence, language and more, all that is shared by other creatures. Exactly as the Bible recognised. Though it's expressed in different ways, the honesty of science confirms how much we share down to ourselves, down to the codes of our DNA, with Jesus. It's heresy, by the way, to suggest otherwise. We are family, but do we behave like it? Would anyone looking on work that out? A friend of mine had to suffer for years being bullied by her mother, quoting, children, obey your parents. That mother might have been surprised to read in Ephesians, parents, do not exasperate your children. Don't drive your children round the bend, because that isn't what parents or those in the role of parents should do. Eco-congregation is a tap on the shoulder to help God's family be a family, especially at times like this, as is a faith for people as creatures among creatures with a special place and purpose, and the church even more so. I know that may not be what we grew up with. We read a bit in the Bible and, and we stop there. Like when Jesus says at one point, learn from the fig tree. And that sounds conveniently far off and long ago, and you can ignore it. But the next few words are, and all the trees. Have you seen any trees today? 
Have you stopped and looked and thought how wonderful they are? Have you thanked God for them and have you thanked them? It might do you good to do so. Just as prayer does us good. At the end of the newsletter, the, at the end of the newsletter that we know as Ephesians, it says this. Pray in the spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests. There are many different kinds of prayer. Some involve words. Some might be how you take care of a garden or the buildings where you gather to worship. Being aware of your carbon footprint, changing your light bulbs, litter picking, giving up single-use plastic. I gave up meat because it's clear that other diets have a vastly lower impact on the climate. Though I've got much further to go, I'm, I'm still enjoying dairy. Planting wild flowers so the bees can do their wonderful job. All of those things which on their own are not going to fix things. But you'd be off your head if you thought that. But they are valuable and worthwhile. 